What's up, nail crew? So I am obviously. Woo! Look at that! Look at that V! Look at that V! Look at that V! Look at that V! <laughs> so I'm obviously out of town. I'll do like this so y'all can kind of. Welcome to our. Ah! Stop! I messed up my whole intro. Oh God. y'all so i sent him to take a nap <laughs> and so this video i'm going to show you what's in my travel case so let me show you my view really really quick Ooh, jet skis i have a jet ski story for y'all <laughs> i have to decide if i want to tell it or not but yeah looking at them go jet skiing is making me relive my jet ski story and it's hella hilarious so <laughs> Kind of inappropriate, but still funny. So maybe I'll tell you guys. But anyway, look at the scenery. So pretty. So every morning I wake up, I just come out here and just look, you guys. Look, it's so beautiful. And then the pool, which we have not gotten in the pool since we've been here. I don't know. I'm not really a pool girl. You know what I mean? But there's also a hot tub. And it's Corona, so I'm not really feeling the hot tub either. <laughs> a little tiki bar right there but we got our own alcohol, so <laughs> we really just been anti-social. <laughs> just coming up on the balcony and kind of like looking out and being nosy. So, but really anyway. quick, before we even get into what's in my travel case, I wanna also show you guys my travel ring light setup, okay? <laughs> so this is how I usually film my videos, especially if I'm traveling. So I have my travel ring light, which is smaller than my everyday ring light, but it's still really, really bright. I have my cell phone, always record on my cell phone. This is my backup phone. Obviously, I'm also recording with the phone, so I have two phones, just in case you're like, well, how the hell is she recording herself recording? See, look. <laughs> Okay, so then I have my <laughs> ring light, and then this is so clutch, you guys. So this is a power bank, you guys, and that's the name in case you want one. I got it from Amazon, and then it came two in a pack, so I really love this. Obviously, it's strong enough to power my cell phone, but also my ring light. So I wanted to show you guys that before we got into what's in there. So let's go. I did not realize how hard it was going to be to record this, like... How am I going to get everything in view and still get my hands in view to point to everything? So, yeah, you guys, I'm sitting on the floor outside. Give me a thumbs up. All right, so the first thing, obviously, is the top component. So we can latch it like that. Woo! Hopefully, I don't have anything crazy in here that I have to explain because, Lord, I'll just edit it out if I do. Okay, so I have a fan. This is my portable fan. You guys, this is so important. Let me tell you something. It gets hot. It gets hot when you're doing nails. You guys, get you a portable fan. So this one, you would charge it there. It has like a regular charging port. You turn it on here. See that? Hopefully you guys can hear it, but it's a low, medium, and high setting. I love this fan. I freaking love it definitely a must i have an extra jar so whenever i do nails and i'm on the go it's really hard to keep up with my clean stuff versus my dirty stuff so all my dirty drill bits and tiny things i just kind of throw in here or a really large ziploc bag oh my gosh it's so loud <sighs> hopefully you guys can hear me um but yeah this is what i put all my dirty drill bits in either this or like a ziploc bag oh i hope you guys can hear me and then I keep pencils in here. I don't know why. And then a mark. I don't know why. Forget it. Forget I showed you those. Those are just in there. Um, here. Oh, this is fun. So here are my drill bits. So I just keep my drill bits in here. And my arbor bands. Oh, now there's an alarm. Like, come on, y'all. Let me be great. So drill bits. Really easy to find when they're in something like this. You know, you can grab whatever you need. This one is my brushes. So I just keep my acrylic brushes in various sizes and my poly gel brush. If I had any art brushes with me, they would also be in here. Okay, so that's my brushes. This one is implements, tools, 
like I have the little spoons if I wanted to do a dip set. I have my nail clipper, scissors. Here. So these scissors here, these stork scissors, I got them from Walmart. They're really good for cutting and shaping the nails. Also for shaping your forms if you're into forms. So I have that, have my nail clipper, like I said, my dotting tools, and just other little various implements I would put in here. What's in this? Oh, this one is my nail files. So my hand files. And again, this is just all for clean stuff. If I have anything that's used or dirty, it does not go back with the clean stuff. It goes in a Ziploc bag or in here. So I don't mix my clean and dirty. So that was here. And then it kind of opens out like that, like a accordion almost. And so I just keep random stuff in here. I have my cutters if I wanted to do like a French set. I showed you guys these in an unboxing video. I got them from Amazon. So I kind of keep those right in here. And then on this side, let's talk about this last. On this side, I have gloves, right? Because we all need gloves every once in a while. So I keep gloves in a bag. I also keep some business cards. So those are my cards. Let me show you guys my cards. In case you've never ordered anything from me, you don't want to know what my business cards looks like. This is the front. Ooh. And this is the back. Boop. <laughs> So yeah, and I designed those myself. I was very proud of those cards. So anyway, I keep those here in a little Ziploc tucked away. And then this. I think Diana gave this to me actually. So it is so loud. Oh, so angry. But anyway, so this, you guys, <laughs> if you are out of town or if you are at someone's house doing their nails and you have to poop, <laughs> Now we all know the nail crew poop doesn't smell at all, but just in case. <laughs> you might wanna hit the bathroom with a little bit of this before you go in there. So yeah, <laughs> before you do your business, you know, do a little squirt of this in the toilet and nobody would know. <laughs> so I had that in there just in case. What if I at somebody's house and I gotta go to the bathroom so bad? How embarrassing would that be, right? No, okay, so. <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> So down here, I have, so we're still in the top compartment, by the way, okay, you guys? So up here, I have my nail forms. These are not my favorite nail forms, but for some reason, they're in my travel case, so go figure. Then I have this wrap, and this is what I use to either protect my acrylic brushes or to protect my nail. So if I really like a nail brush, I will protect it. And by that, I mean just cover the handle by wrapping it. And that way it's just, it makes it feel comfortable when I'm gripping it, but also the acetone and monomer won't eat up the handle. So I did that to this brush. And I also wrapped this brush. This is my not polished brush. It's really, really large. That's why I don't use it that much. But anyway, I do like the bristles and I do like how it feels. So that's why I wrapped it. But I also use this to wrap my fingernails if I don't have gloves and I'm filing, sometimes I file into my actual nails and that is very frustrating. <laughs> that is very frustrating, so I like to wrap them and protect them. So yeah, I keep that down here at my tips. Some of the nail tips that I have with me are these universal tips from Not Polish. I also have these you could get right on Amazon. These, I actually really do like these and I got these from Beatles. Coupon code in the description box. Oh yeah, I also got a coupon code for Not Polish as well. Then I got these tips I got from AliExpress. You guys know I love them. <laughs> you guys know I love them. Okay, so those are the tips that I have. And then I have a dog pad to protect the table that I'm working on. I have a mask, of course. Even if it's not Corona, I always have a mask when I'm filing. And then on this side, I have paper towels that I already cut in the square, so it's already pre-cut. So all I have to do is reach into here, grab my um, dog pad to protect the table or potty pad, whatever you want to call it, my paper towel and my mask, and I'm ready to go. So all of that I keep down here. And then I also have this. This is my removing stuff. So you'll see the acetone in a little bit, but in here I keep my full paper with cotton on it. 
So this is what it looks like. And you guys have seen me and other people use this many times. But yeah, so I keep a bunch of these here in case I have to soak a set off. Or let's say I'm, you know, I'm doing something and a nail breaks and I have to soak it off and, and do a quick repair. So these are really good to have. So I have that. But then I also have these clips. Just in case I run out of these, in case I run out of these, I could just use cotton acetone and use this to clip it on. So anyway, I keep all of that right in here, all in the top compartment, you guys. We are still in the top compartment. We still have not scratched the surface. <laughs> all right, y'all, so that was the top part. Now we're going into the second part. So in order to get there, you have to do like that, flip up the little clip, right? And then take it off. All right, y'all, so this is the nail art section. So in here, I keep all my little nail art stuff. So like transfer foils and stickers and things like that. It'll just be in this bag, really, really easy to get to. So yeah, and then I have my little swatch stick. So these are so, like these really do come in handy, you guys. These come in handy. So I have my swatch sticks easy to pick out a color that you want or the client wants right and then you just go right in here and grab it so i have two rings of polishes <laughs> if i could fix it so you guys can see it but yeah and then i do have videos where i actually swatch these because i swatch all of them on camera so if you're into watching swatch sticks be made well i have a whole playlist for you and i'll leave it in the description box but anyway so i have my swatch sticks and then I have the matching polishes in here. So this is why I say I really love the small bottles. Remember, like in all my videos, I'm like, oh my God, I love the small bottles. Yes, because I could fit so many more. Like I could fit so much more of the small polishes in here versus the big bottles. So yeah, like look at this. Oh my God, this color is gorgeous. Right? You guys, I already told you, February is the month for purple. So I'm wearing my purple nails. Look at this purple polish, you guys. It's from Model Ones. Go get it. <laughs> but I also have a lot of Beatles polishes in here. And be look at that glitter. Ooh, Beatles is really good. And they have the small bottles just like Model Ones. So, yeah. And I do have coupon codes for Model Ones and Beatles. So if you're into the small bottles because you also have a carry case, I will leave the links and codes in the description box. But, yeah. So that's that. And I have some more small bottles at home. I just have to swatch them before I put them in here. Um, but yeah, maybe I'll make a video swatching really soon. If you guys want to see that, let me know because I got a whole gang of Beatles polishes that just came in. Woo! Yeah, I'm going to swatch them. Whether y'all vote yes or no, we're going to swatch. All right, so that's it for this container. This is my nail art container. So I am going to put the thing back on. All right, guys, so this compartment is kind of boring. <laughs> There's no fun to be had here. <laughs> so I am so organized and I'm very like obsessed with containers, packaging, bags, shelves, boxing, boxing, boxes. Like I'm really obsessed. So obviously everything is like separated in bags and stuff like that. Literally, that's just how I roll. So in this bag, this is just my plug. So if anything comes with a plug, I like to detach the plug and put it in this bag so that I always know where my plugs are and everything just isn't a hot mess, okay? So in here, you guys, oh my God, this, this right here, so important. This right here, you guys need this, oh my God. So I talked about this in my 21 must haves for 2021. You guys, you need this, okay, period. It doesn't have to be this brand, of course, whatever brand you find, get it this makes life so much easier especially when you're traveling so I have that I have the plug to my lamp and then just various little like other little plugs bottom pieces for chargers some of you guys call this butt pieces end pieces squares whatever I call it the bottom piece Okay, and then I have a charger. I love portable chargers. So I showed you guys the white one that I'm using to charge my ring light, but I also have another one because, oh my God, what if that one dies, right? So I have a backup for my backup. <laughs> That's how I roll, people. That's how I roll. And then I have my powder lamp. You guys, obsessed, 
obsessed with the powder lamps. You know how many of these I have? Five. Five. And then look at this lamp. This is another little cute one that I have. And it's like a backup to my puddle. If anything happens to the puddle, well, that's the backup to it. It's nothing worse than being out of town and you thought you packed everything and you didn't or something happened to your items and so you go to pull out your backup items and that's jacked up too. So that's why I have backup items and backup for the backup. <laughs> I get anxiety when things isn't right. All right, so I showed you guys this plug, right? This one, like the extension cord. Well, I have another one, so I guess I have one and a backup because I love my backups. But anyway, this, do you see what happened here? Do you see that? That's blue acrylic. So in one of my videos where I was out of town, oh my God, I don't even want to relive this day, but I was out of town and I was doing nails. I had my whole setup and my blue acrylic from not polished spilled. It just spilled. Oh my God, I'm so sad. So sad thinking about it. It spilled all over the hotel floor and it got into my plug. Look, so I don't know if that's a fire hazard, but I've been using this plug and nothing has happened to my house or the items. Like there was no fire start or anything, but I don't recommend that. So if anything falls, spills into your plugs, just get a new one. But yeah, just forget that whole story. So then I also have in here an apron just in case like i don't want to mess up my outfit but aunt thought you guys here we go aunt thought this apron was like <laughs> i don't know what he thought <laughs> you guys it's just a regular apron <laughs> nothing fun here <laughs> i'm gonna wear the apron for the rest of the video hold on <laughs> Ann's gonna come out here and think that this is a different type of party. No, ma'am. <laughs> no, ma'am. <laughs> oh, shoot. <laughs> All right, so this is the apron, you guys. And I think it's super cute because it has a pocket. So you can put your brush in there, your money in there. If you don't want to set it down, it's gonna give you a tip. You could be like, throw it in the pocket. <laughs> all right so i also have my e-file so this was my go-to portable e i wonder if it fits in the pocket hold on let's see oh oh my gosh it fits hold on let's see something even with the the case will it still fit oh my god that'd be so cool if it does oh it fits you guys Oh my God, I got this apron, I think, from Walmart. Go get your apron, it fits your little portable drill. Oh my God, oh my God, that is so cool. Okay, so this was my go-to e-file. They just got louder. You guys, oh my gosh. All right, so this was my go-to travel e-file because it's super cute, got it from Amazon. It is from Bell. Voila, right? I love this thing, you guys, I love it. <laughs> but I got this from McCoy. I got this from my car. I got this from my car. And so now, obviously. <laughs> so this is. <laughs> and of course, she fits right one in here. Right one in, baby girl. Hop on in, baby girl. Who? Oh, what? She is in there. She ain't going nowhere. Yes, you guys, yes. So yeah, this is my e-file and plug uh, little area. So I just like having stuff organized so I'm not looking like a mess. You know what I mean? Like I know where everything is. Or like if I need Aunt to go get something for me, I can be like, look in the third compartment to the right. You know what I mean? He'll know exactly where to go. So super duper. Or is that a Libra thing? Are all you Libras like that? All right, guys. So this is the last component. This is the last one. This is the last one. This is the last. <laughs> I can think of something about anything. Don't try me, y'all. <laughs> 
I think I should have, like in my past life, I must have been like a jingle maker. I really feel like either I was a turtle. If I was an animal in my past life, I was a turtle. And if I wasn't a turtle, I was a jingle maker. So in this compartment, you guys, I had my acrylic. So most of the acrylics I have is from Model 1s. And the reason for that, you guys, is the bottles, they're a nice size. They're not too big where they're going to take up a ton of room. Um, they hold a lot of powder and I have a lot of color options. So I either have Model 1s in here or I have Sparkle & Co. Because look at the bottle size for Sparkle & Co. Like I can have like so many color options in here and that's really, really, really important. So I have Sparkle & Co. like I said, Model 1s, who else is in here? I think, <laughs> I think that's it. Oh, I have um, one, what's even in here? It doesn't even, feel, oh, okay, there's some powder in here. So I have one from Enel Couture, it's the eternal beige. And the container size is small. So it's not too far off from the model one. And I have one from Young Nails, if anyone cares. <laughs> but most of the products in here is from model ones or sparkling Co. Look at this color, you guys. Oh, 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 double dip, double dip in the house. Double dip in the house. I love me some double dip. Double dip in the house. Look at that beautiful pink. March. March is coming up. March is coming up. This is called green, white, silver. Very uh, to the point and basic. But green, white, and silver for everybody in March. A really pretty color. Okay, so that's it for most of my acrylics in this area. And then I also have this, my little caddy, you guys. So I have containers inside containers and bags inside of bags inside of containers. Cause that's just how I roll. And I get made fun of a lot, but I really, really don't care. But so this is my little desktop caddy, okay? So I pull this out of here. I plop it on the desk. It has everything I need and I'm ready to go. And then I decide on if I'm gonna use colored acrylic or polish and nail art. So everything is, I just could put my hand on everything when I need it. So let's talk about what's in my caddy. Oh, that looks like a cute thumbnail picture. Wait a minute. Hold on, you guys. Let me see if I can get a cute thumbnail. No. Okay, whatever. I'll work on that. So here in my little desktop caddy, I have a brush. So this brush is in here because it's just really long. This is my school. This brush I got when I was in school, you guys. I got this when I was in school. Cool, and it is still hanging on. This is from Young Nails. It's just really small. It's too small. So I don't really use it much unless... Yeah, I really just don't use it at all. But it's in here because it's too tall to go in the little case with the brushes. It just stands out. And I didn't want to bend the bristles. So I put it in here so it could stand up and be happy. I have some files in there. These are only in here because I had a one-on-one -on -one class yesterday. Hey girl, hey, if you're watching. Hey girl, hey, if you're watching. So anyway, I had a one-on-one -on -one class and these are the files and, and buffs and things that I use on her. So they're not dirty because I use them on a practice hand, but they're not clean because they were used. So they're like in that in-between stage, so they're just in here. So anyway, I have the files, I have a buffer. I have my dust brush, so I use this for the hand, but also sometimes if the table is kind of dusty, I kind of just sweep the table with this. So this is like my duster and broom, you know, whatever. Got that. Manicure brush, nail clipper, cuticle clipper, and this cuticle clipper I got from, I think I got it from Yayogi, and I really love the colors. Woo -woo, so pretty. So I have that in here. Oh, and look at these. Oh my God, I don't even know what they're for per se. Definitely not nail related, but I use them for nails. <laughs> I got them from Diana. <laughs> so these little silicone containers, look, they're, they're like perfect for little dapping dishes. Or like if you want a whole bling in there or whatever. So I don't know where to tell you guys to get them if you like them, hit her up, but they're so cute and they're silicone. So you could put acetone in here, you could put monomer in here, 
and it won't ruin the silicone. And I have two of them. So yeah, I just like them, they're cute. And so in here, I keep my base coats and top coats. So my on the run base coats and top coats that I have with me. I have the gel bottle ink. You guys know I was so obsessed with that. I have the Pottle. The Pottle uh, top coat is very, very shiny. Focus, focus, focus. And the Pottle is having a sale. And I have a coupon code to get you some. I got Princess Nails by Diana Diva in a Bottle. Got her matte coat. That is her matte top coat. I have her no wipe top coat. And of course, I have her face coat. And then for my transfer foil gel, I love this stuff. So I have the transfer foil gel. But recently, I've really started using a lot of the McCart um, transfer foil gel, and that's really good too. So when this runs out, I'll replace it with the McCart one. Coupon code in the description box for McCart. I don't have a coupon code for iGel Beauty yet because they don't know that I exist at this point. But for here, I have, I don't know why I'm traveling with this, but it's the extra top for my monomer. <laughs> so when I travel, I try to put the spill proof like lid on my monomer, but then if I need to, I can switch it out to this. But yeah, I don't know why I travel with that. <laughs> I could just pour it right from here. So I have the monomer and this is the monomer that I sell on my website. I have an empty bottle and I just keep refilling it, refilling it, refilling it. That's my favorite monomer, you guys, hands down. If you haven't tried it, go try it. So I have my monomer in here. I also have the lotion. Also the same thing with the lotion. This is a lotion from my website. I don't put labels on them because I don't want to, like I literally have to pay for the label. So I don't want to waste my money by labeling my own stuff that I'm using, if that makes sense. So I don't waste labels on the stuff that I'm using personally. Um, but yeah, these are the lotion and the monomer from my site. Then I have my alcohol and acetone mixture. So this is what I used to clean the hands off with. Also what I used to dehydrate the nails. So I have that. Then I have acetone, pure acetone in case I need it. So I also have this. Oh my gosh, you're getting louder. You're getting louder. So I have this nail surface cleaner from Laguna Moon. And I do have a coupon code for it. Um, I don't use it much because it is the exact same thing that I keep in here. This is alcohol and acetone. This literally says alcohol, acetone, and then it also has ethyl acetate, which is nail polish remover. So if I threw nail polish remover in this, I will have exactly what's in here. So I'll show you guys the ingredients. Uh, come on and focus. Can you guys see? There you go. So this isn't a bad product. Let me see what it smells like. Yeah, it literally smells. Let me smell mine. Literally smells the same. <laughs> literally. So this is not a bad product. I really like it and I actually like the container that it comes in. I love the pump bottle. I really, really like it. And what I what I love, what I love, this is a full bottle. And you know how sometimes if the cap isn't secure enough or the product isn't uh, packaged well, the alcohol or the acetone will start to evaporate and then over time you'll have like an empty bottle, but you never even used it. <laughs> so this has been in here for a while and there has been no evaporation. So whatever kind of packaging or bottle or lid that they're using, really good. If you're not a DIYer and you don't wanna make your own, I do recommend getting this or using this. It's the exact same stuff like Swipe that Young Nails sell. Exactly the same ingredients. If you guys waste your money on Swipe, read the ingredients and you're gonna be like, what in the what, 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 what? Yeah, so when I realized that, I just been making my own. Sorry, you guys, I'm looking over here. I should be looking over here. <laughs> Forgive me. All right, guys, I hope you can see me and hear me, but I'm like all outward like that. <laughs> but, <laughs> That's what's in my travel case. The only thing that I'm missing that I cannot show you guys today is my UV LED light, like the big light. Yeah, so I usually keep it in this compartment, but it's not in here. So 
Yes, but luckily, luckily I do have my pot lamp and that is strong enough to do my flash cures and my full cures. So I did have a one-on-one -on -one yesterday. Hey girl, hey. And I was able to do the entire class with her because I did have my powder lamp. But yeah, that's one other thing that's missing. And that would have fit like right here, right in this area. And yeah, and then I'm good to go. But like I said, because I'm so anal you know, with the backups, I'm so happy that I had my backup lamp and I was good to go. But that is it, you guys. That is everything in my travel case. Let me know what's in your travel case. Do I have everything that you have? Do I have extra stuff? Am I missing some stuff? What am I missing? Let me know what I'm missing. <laughs> Feel free to drop your comment below, and I'll see you next time. Bye. Oh, and if you miss these nails, baby, where were you? Where were you if you don't know about my nails? If you did not watch me do my nails, I will leave the link to that video in the description box. Make sure you check it. And if you already watched it, then just watch it again. I don't know. <laughs> All right, bye.